I recently did an investigation with Christopher Rufo uh, about Charleroi. It's a small town in Pennsylvania. The population was something over 4,000 residents in 2020. And then over the last few years, uh, they've recently seen a approximately like 2,000 predominantly Haitian migrants that moved in and sort of have established themselves with the help of local um, employers and nonprofits that the Biden administration has provided significant public funding to. Okay, so I, I want to just play a piece of tape here of the, the kind of Pennsylvania town that's being overrun here. Let's play cut 91. So many people and there's just, just not enough resources. There's not enough jobs. There's not enough homes. She's glad Trump, who she supports, has been calling attention to Charleroi and Springfield. People need to know that it's just not Springfield. This is coming to a town near you. What is coming to a town near you? Haitians or um, immigrants that have poured over the border within the last couple of years. Why is that a bad thing, given the fact that some would say the United States is a nation of immigrants? They're not um, coming here to assimilate with us. They're coming here to take over. So what did your investigative reporting show uh, of what's happening in Charlotte? Um, similar to what's happening in Springfield, a lot of the same complaints about lack of assimilation and um, car crashes into buildings. The schools are strained for resources and are in need of hiring many uh, English as a second language interpreters to be able to accommodate so many Haitian children. Um, but it's, it's very similar to what's happening in Springfield and many cities across the country that have recently seen an influx of migrants into their towns.